The Northwest Women's Show is back this weekend after a long hiatus. It's packed. It's a two-day event at the Tacoma Dome filled with food, entertainment, speakers, and great shopping from local vendors. Yeah, one of those vendors is Christy Daly, the owner of Wig Party. I spoke to her about her mission to inspire women to be their most confident self through the power of wigs. So how did you get started with Wig Party? What made you want to start this business and get into the industry? So the crazy thing is, is I was selling hair extensions at the mall when I was 19. And so I have been wearing alternative hair for over 30 years. And it wasn't until a couple of years ago that I started suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome and some hair loss due to weight loss um, that I started wearing wigs. The more I started to wear wigs, people started to ask me questions about it. And so I started hosting wig parties. And that's kind of where it took off. You have this message on your site and on your branding that kind of sticks out to me, and I'm sure it's it's very relatable to to your experience um, with hair loss and and probably you know women and, and men around the world too. But the the line that I saw that sticks out is celebrating the normalization of wearing alternative hair. What does that mean to you? So I think there's a stigma with wearing wigs uh, that has been going on for a really long time. And so what we're trying to do is um, break that stigma and be okay with wearing alternative hair, you know, whether it's a, you know, toupee, hair extensions, wigs, whatever it is. Women wear wigs for different reasons, whether it's, you know, cancer treatments, um, hair loss due to weight loss, um, alopecia, um, confidence. That's my biggest thing is that I want to instill confidence in women. So my whole purpose is to encourage women to feel confident in their own skin while wearing alternative hair. I love that message. Confidence is so important. Absolutely. You have an awesome collection behind you. Do you have any favorites that you want to point out? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'm actually wearing my new confidence collection, which is launching soon. And so this um, this wig is called Resilient because I think we as women need to remind ourselves that it's okay to be resilient. And um, so when you are wearing a, you know, confidence collection piece, then you are wearing that word. And so this is my favorite so far. So this is called Resilient and it's just a, a, a lob, which is going to be a longer bob with some wave. And the wigs that I provide all have an incredible hairline, making it look natural. And they're very, very lightweight. It looks fabulous. Thank you. I like that. Wearing resilience. This is really timely because we've got the Northwest Women's Show coming up this weekend, which obviously you're a vendor at. What's the message that you're hoping to spread to the women that you meet there? And what are you looking forward to most? So I'm looking forward to changing more lives. Um, it's incredible because of all of the women that I have met, whether in person or online, I have so many stories of the confidence that they have gained by wearing a wig, by wearing a wig. And they are just starting to feel normal. That's what they want to do is they want to feel normal. They want to feel confident. And so it just gives them their confidence back. And when you just see that in their face, it's so incredible. And so I want people to know that it's okay. And so they will see me trying on different wigs, which I will do now. All you have to do is take it off and then put it back on. And so this one is just a shorty. And so I'll be doing demonstrations um, throughout the weekend so that people can see how quick and easy it is. They can try on wigs themselves. They can answer questions or we, they can ask questions um, and get just a lot more information. And they all look so natural and you rock all of them so well. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Christy says if you're hesitant to try a wig for any reason, just be open-minded. Wear a little makeup and maybe even a cute outfit to compliment it. Our sister station, Como News, is a sponsor of The Women's Show. Come meet us from 9 a.m. to noon. Senior Como reporter Chris Daniels will also be there during that time. Then from noon to 3, you can meet Mary Nam, Eric Johnson, Preston Phillips, Darren Zahn, with Como and Guard Swanson and Brandon Bernstead from Seattle Refined. On Sunday, Shannon O'Donnell and Molly Shin will be in the Como Zone from 10 a.m. to 1, and reporters Jeremy Harris and Paul Rivera from 1 to 4 p.m. So you have a chance to meet 
all of your a favorite vast majority of the Como team at the Seattle <laughs> Refined team. Yeah. Now, if you're interested in buying some tickets, you can get them at the door or scan this QR code that's just popping up in the corner right here using your cell phone's camera. That's going to take you directly to comonews.com slash hotlinks. There you will find a link to the Women's Show website. Again, that's coming up this weekend. So come by and say hi to us. Yeah, Saturday morning. Yeah, we, we would love to meet you. We'll be doing some shopping there, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely.